All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. You're looking at a SATA uh, adapter type thing for the uh, Raspberry Pi. Now this would really work good on the Raspberry Pi 4, but it will work on the 3. So we have our main five volts coming in here, which will uh, power the Pi also. So, uh, as you can see, I went ahead and put some of the standoffs on that we're going to need because the Pi will set here. The hard drive or the solid state drive will be mounted here and you can't put that on until you put the standoffs on because the drive is going to take up the space where the white line is going around. So you need to do that first. Now with it being this way, uh, if you add another one of these boards, you can just lay it on there and then uh, use your little standoffs that come with it to screw that back down. But I only have one of these boards for now. So, with that being said, we can go ahead and mount our drive. Flip it over. Then we'll go ahead and... Uh, Tighten this up. <clears throat> now this would be a good thing if you want to make a little NAS server. Or I guess you could uh, use it to just boot your Pi from a solid state drive. Be another way to do it. Uh, but I'm going to turn this into a uh, probably a NAS server or DLNA server or something. So now that we have our drive mounted, we can go ahead and set our Pi on here. Now this is a Pi 4. And <clears throat> you can basically run it this way. It comes with this adapter to plug in to uh, 5 volts and into the header to power the Pi. But we're going to mount this guy which has uh, the, the header on for the GPIOs. And it only uses three GPIOs. Uh, uses, uh, let's see here. I read it somewhere. I'll find it. Maybe it's on this one. Yeah, it uses uh, GPIO 4, 17, and 18. All the other ones are not used. So, <clears throat> anyway, what we're going to do is, when you get this, you don't need this, but if you do get this, it comes with standoffs and hardware also. So, we're going to go ahead and screw that guy into there, and I'll go ahead and do that on all four. Alright, so now that that's mounted, we can take our uh, hat here. And easily put it on here and press down. Then we can go ahead and put on some hardware here to hold it down into place. So we got some screws that come here with it that uh, work out really nice. And these are stackable, so you can uh, stack multiple ones, you know. Every couple, I think you need the power, set, you know, run another power to the board to have enough power to power everything. Because one power is not going to be enough if you use multiple ones. So, so now what we can do is... When you get this, it comes with one of these little wires. So what we need to do is, we need to come out of the five volts out of here. Plug in your power there. <clears throat> then we're gonna come into here and plug into there, just like such. So what we're going to do, <clears throat> is with that being said since we're coming out of this guy and into this 
we want to power from here. So if we came out of this guy and came into here, we can power it from over here. So we're just going to power it from here. And uh, it doesn't come with a barrel connector. So that's one thing you would have to get separately. <clears throat> and one more thing, what we need to do is plug in our little USB cable that come with it. So we're just going to plug it into here and plug it into the second one for the up port. So we'll just turn that around like such. Plug it in there. And there we go. All right, so you definitely want to use a decent power supply. Uh, they recommend, you know, like a 2.4 amp power supply. Now I'm running a, uh, it's a five, well, it's a variable type power supply, but I think it's good for three and a half amps. So, uh, we're going to plug it into this guy. Now there's a little uh, switch here. That's the power switch. So you got to manually power this, but it comes with jumpers, just like you had on the old time uh, hard drives for master or slave. And if you look right here, you'll see a auto on. So if you jumper this across here, which I'm not, I'm just going to uh, show you both ways, I guess. But if you jumper this, then plug it in, the power will automatically come on. So, if you don't do that, then you're going to have to manually power this on. Because right now, I have it plugged in, power's plugged in, and nothing coming on. So, if you hit the switch, voila, we got power to the Pi, power to the fan. And, uh, there we go. And it's fired up, it's working. We got a hard drive light here blinking, which is nice. So, uh, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. So, I guess what we could do is, if you want, so you don't scuff anything up, let me go ahead and unplug it. You could put these on for the time being until you get your other board. But, uh, that's pretty much it, you know. This is my first time ever messing with one of these, so we'll see what happens. See if we make it or break it. But uh, our local uh, internet provider that we have is capping our internet. So I want to uh, make a, uh, a NAS. So... We'll see how well it works out. I have one already, but I want to make, uh, do a separate one up. So I might use this in order to uh, accomplish that. So just thought I would share this a little bit. Hopefully it helps out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. And I'll throw a link in the description to my website for photos of this and in the video. So stay tuned for another one.